This month, two calves and a cow were killed by wolves near Cooks in Schoolcraft County. There are over 650 wolves across every county in Upper Michigan. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Jessica Stevenson tells us about the attacks and how to protect your property. Farmer David Rabier never expected to find wolves in his own backyard. One of those things you always think is going to happen to everybody else and it's never going to happen to you, so I never thought it would happen to me. You're very disappointed. A week after the attack, a wolf was standing only 400 feet from his house where his young grandchildren play. I'm kind of concerned. And uh, somebody somewhere is going to lose a child someday to one, I'm afraid. But I hope not, but there's just too many. Livestock wolf attacks have typically been most common in central western UP. This year, patterns are suggesting attacks may become more frequent across the entire peninsula. We are experiencing a little bit higher rates of depredation this year. Um, it's something we, we anticipated just with a downturn in the deer herd so that natural prey availability uh, isn't there. If you suspect an attack has occurred on your property, preserve the evidence and contact the DNR immediately. Well, I would definitely recommend this process. Like they did with Dave, they can work with you to get reimbursement for your lost cattle and provide you with fatal and non-fatal prevention methods. Keep those animals from coming back, kind of break that cycle so you don't get these animals used to eating livestock really goes a long way in preventing damage down the road and for years to come. Mm. Jessica Stevenson, TV6 News, Escanaba.